Have you ever noticed that the quality of your entire day seems to be determined in those first few moments after opening your eyes? Think about it. Some mornings you wake up feeling invincible, while on others, the simple act of getting out of bed feels like scaling a mountain. The fascinating truth is that the difference between these two experiences lies not in your circumstances, but in your consciousness. Let me share something extraordinary that I observed just yesterday. I watched a lotus flower opening at dawn. Before the sun's first rays touched its petals, it was already beginning its unfoldment from within. Your consciousness works in exactly the same way. It must open from within before encountering the external. Think about this for a moment. Every morning, you're literally being reborn. The person who went to sleep last night is not exactly the same person who awakens. In those precious moments between sleeping and waking, you have the opportunity to choose who you will be for the next 24 hours. Most people make the devastating mistake of immediately reaching for their phone upon awakening. But consider this, would you want someone else's thoughts to be the first seeds planted in your mind's garden each day? Those early morning moments are too precious to waste on random information. Your consciousness in the morning is like freshly fallen snow, pristine, untouched, full of potential. Whatever marks you make in the snow will create patterns that persist throughout your day. This is why the one thing you must do upon awakening is to consciously choose your first thought. Think about how a master musician tunes their instrument before playing. Your consciousness requires this same kind of precise tuning each morning. The thought you choose to focus on first is like striking the keynote that will resonate throughout your entire day. Consider what I call the dawn state of consciousness. Those first moments of awakening are like the gap between worlds where the dreams of night and the realities of day intermingle. In this state, your mind is extraordinarily receptive to, let me share something profound about what happens in your brain during these early morning moments. Your neural pathways are like fresh clay, more malleable and receptive to new patterns than at any other time of day. The thought you choose to focus on first literally shapes these pathways. Think about how a master painter approaches a blank canvas. Those first strokes determine the entire composition. Your first morning thoughts work the same way. They create the foundation for everything that follows. Most people are trapped in what I call the morning momentum trap. They let their mind drift randomly upon awakening, not realizing that this drift creates a pattern of unconscious living that persists all day. Your consciousness is like a garden at dawn. The morning dew makes the soil especially receptive to whatever seeds you plant. This is why you must consciously choose the first thought you plant in this fertile ground. Consider how a master archer takes aim before releasing the arrow. Your first morning thought is like taking aim for your entire day. The precision of this initial focus determines whether you hit your target. Let me tell you about what I call the awakening alignment. When you choose your first thought consciously, you create a resonance that attracts similar thoughts and experiences throughout the day. Consider how a master chemist knows that the first element added to a solution determines all subsequent reactions. Your first morning thought creates similar chain reactions in your consciousness that influence your entire day. Let me share something extraordinary about the dawn frequency. Those first moments of awakening are when your brain naturally operates at theta waves the same frequency associated with deep meditation and profound transformation. Think about how a quantum field collapses into particles when observed. Your morning consciousness works similarly. That first focused thought collapses infinite possibilities into specific patterns of experience. Most people live in what I call the morning chaos. They let external influences determine their first thoughts, then wonder why their days feel out of control. But when you consciously choose your first thought, you become the master of your day's unfolding. Your mind at dawn is like a powerful radio transmitter. The frequency you tune to first thing in the morning becomes your broadcasting frequency for the entire day. This is why random morning thoughts create random days. Consider how a master composer begins a symphony. That first note sets the tone for the entire piece. Your first morning thought composes the symphony of your day. Let me tell you about what I call the consciousness calibration point. Those initial moments of awakening are when you can calibrate your entire being to the frequency of your chosen reality. Consider what I call the morning potential field. 
in those first moments of consciousness, you're like a quantum particle in superposition, simultaneously holding all possible states until that first thought collapses the field into specific pattern. Let me share something profound about the dawn threshold. Those initial moments when you cross from sleep to wakefulness are a special doorway where ordinary laws of consciousness are suspended here. Transformation can happen instantly. Think about how a master gardener knows that morning is the optimal time to plant seeds. Your consciousness follows these same natural rhythms. And those early moments are when thought seeds have the greatest power to grow. Most people are caught in what I call the morning reaction loop. They wake up responding to yesterday's unfinished business, never realizing that they can start each day as a completely new being. Your consciousness at dawn is like freshly fallen snow, pristine, untouched, holding infinite potential. That first footprint you make, that first conscious thought, creates pathways that others will tend to follow. Consider how a master alchemist understands that the first element sets the foundation for all subsequent transformations. Your first morning thought creates the alchemical base for your day's experiences. Let me tell you about what I call the consciousness reset point. Each morning offers a complete reset of your internal operating system, but only if you take conscious control before habitual patterns activate. Consider what I call the dawn quantum field. In those first moments of awakening, your consciousness exists in a state of pure potential, like a wave function before it collapses into particles. The thought you choose first determines which potentials manifest. So let me share something extraordinary about the morning mind matrix. Your brain, upon awakening, is operating at frequencies that make it extraordinarily receptive to programming. The patterns you establish in these moments become your day's operating system. Think about how a master weaver begins a tapestry. That first thread determines the entire pattern's foundation. Your first morning thought weaves the fabric of your day's experience with this same foundational power. Most people are trapped in what I call the morning momentum lag. They let their consciousness drift aimlessly in those crucial first moments, creating a pattern of passive existence that persists throughout the day. Your mind at dawn is like a quantum computer initializing its programs. That first conscious thought becomes the primary algorithm that will process all subsequent experiences. Consider how a master navigator takes their bearings at first light. Your initial morning thought sets your consciousness's compass for the entire day's journey. Let me tell you about what I call the consciousness crystallization point. Those first moments of awakening are when your thought patterns are most fluid, most capable of being reformed into new configurations. Consider what I call the morning Merkaba, the sacred geometry of consciousness that forms in those first moments of awakening. Like a multidimensional star taking shape, your first thought determines the entire structure of your day's experience. Let me share something profound about the dawn state transmission. Just as radio waves travel furthest at dawn due to atmospheric conditions, your thoughts in those first moments have extraordinary power to shape reality. Think about how a master glass blower knows that molten glass is most workable at precisely the right temperature. Your consciousness upon awakening has this same perfect malleability. It can be shaped with exceptional precision. Most people are caught in what I call the morning maze. They wake up and immediately begin retracing yesterday's thought patterns, never realizing they could chart entirely new pathways each dawn. Your consciousness at daybreak is like a quantum field generator. That first focused thought creates ripples that influence the entire fabric of your daily reality. Consider how a master chess player knows the importance of their opening move. Your first morning thought is similarly crucial. It sets up the entire strategy of your day's unfolding. Let me tell you about what I call the consciousness convergence point. Those initial moments of waking are when multiple dimensions of your being align perfectly, creating unparalleled potential for transformation consider what I call the morning portal. In those first moments between sleep and full wakefulness, you stand at a gateway between infinite potential and specific manifestation. The thought you choose determines which reality you step into. Let me share something extraordinary about the dawn state harmonics. Your brain naturally operates at frequencies associated with heightened creativity and receptivity during these moments. Like a perfectly tuned instrument, it awaits your first note. Think about how a master watchmaker understands that the smallest adjustment to the mainspring affects the entire mechanism. 
Your first morning thought creates similar cascading effects throughout your day's experience. Most people are living in what I call the morning amnesia. They forget that each dawn offers a complete rebirth of consciousness, a chance to step into an entirely new version of themselves. Your mind upon awakening is like a quantum supercomputer initializing its systems. That first conscious thought becomes the primary programming that will process all subsequent experiences. Consider how a master painter knows that the first layer of paint determines how all subsequent layers will appear. Your first morning thought creates the base layer of your day's reality. Let me tell you about what I call the consciousness genesis point. Those initial moments of awakening are when you have direct access to the creative force that shapes reality itself. Consider what I call the dawn state matrix. Those first moments of consciousness are like a blank canvas where quantum possibilities dance. Your first focused thought becomes the brush that paints your day's reality. Let me share something profound about the morning mind field. Just as a master physicist understands how particles emerge from waves, your first morning thought collapses infinite possibilities into specific experiences. Think about how a diamond cutter knows that the first cut determines all others. Your initial morning thought create similar precision alignments in your consciousness that influence every subsequent moment. Most people exist in what I call the morning momentum trap. They let habitual patterns dictate their awakening, never realizing they could completely rewrite their reality each dawn. Your consciousness at daybreak is like an infinite hologram. Each thought contains within it the pattern for an entire day's experience, but that first thought sets the primary frequency for all that follows. Consider how a master composer understands that the first note contains the essence of the entire symphony. Your morning consciousness operates with the same creative principle. That first chosen thought resonates throughout your day. Let me tell you about the consciousness calibration point. In those initial moments of awakening, you have access to pure potential. Like a master navigator taking bearings from the stars, your first thought sets your course for the entire day. Consider what I call the dawn state alchemy. Like an ancient alchemist who knew the exact moment to begin a transformation, your first waking thought initiates a chain reaction that transmutes your entire day's experience. Let me share something extraordinary about the morning mind gateway. In those first moments, your consciousness exists in a state of pure potential, like an unlocked door that opens to infinite possibilities. Think about how a master jeweler can see every facet of gem before making the first cut. Your morning consciousness must develop this same precise vision, seeing the complete pattern of your day before it unfolds. Most people live in what I call the dawn delusion. They believe their morning state is random, never realizing they hold the power to consciously calibrate their entire day's frequency in those first moments. Your consciousness at daybreak is like a quantum field of infinite potential. That first focus thought acts like a conscious observer, collapsing infinite possibilities into specific patterns of experience. Consider how a master archer becomes one with their target before releasing the arrow. Your morning consciousness must achieve this same unity with your chosen state before engaging with the world. Let me tell you about the eternal dawn point. When you master those first moments of consciousness, you gain access to a perpetual state of renewal where each moment becomes a fresh beginning this understanding is now yours. This power is now yours through conscious choice in those precious morning moments. You can create days filled with extraordinary possibility and purpose. Remember, you're not just waking up to another day. You're awakening to infinite potential. The choice of how to shape that potential lies in your first conscious thought. The power is in your hands. The understanding is in your mind. Let each morning become a gateway to conscious creation consider what I call the consciousness prism effect. In those first morning moments, your mind acts like a crystal prism. How you orient it determines which frequencies of experience will manifest throughout your day. Let me share something profound about the morning mind mechanics. Just as a quantum computer processes multiple states simultaneously, your dawn consciousness holds infinite potential states before that first thought crystallizes reality. Think about how a master weaver begins each tapestry with a single, perfectly placed thread. Your first morning thought weaves the pattern of your entire day with the same foundational power. Most people exist in what I call the morning maze of unconsciousness. They let their mind wander randomly upon awakening. 
not realizing that these wandering thoughts become the labyrinth they'll walk all day. Your dawn state consciousness is like a, a powerful electromagnetic field. That first focus thought becomes the dominant frequency that attracts matching experiences throughout your day. Consider how a master alchemist knows the exact moment when transformation becomes possible. Your morning consciousness holds the same transformative potential in those first precious moments. Let me tell you about the eternal now point. When you master the art of conscious awakening, you gain access to a perpetual state of renewal where each moment holds the power of dawn. Consider what I call the dawn state quantum resonance. In those first waking moments, your consciousness operates at frequencies that allow direct interface with the quantum field of pure potential. Let me share something extraordinary about the morning mind architecture. Like a master builder who sees the entire structure before laying the first stone, your dawn consciousness contains the blueprint for your entire day's unfolding. Think about how a master musician knows that tuning their instrument precisely affects every note they'll play. Your first morning thought tunes your entire consciousness to specific frequencies of experience. Most people live in what I call the morning momentum trap. They let external forces determine their first thoughts, surrendering their power to consciously shape reality right at the moment when that power is strongest. Your dawn consciousness is like an infinite holographic projector. That first, Focus thought becomes the primary pattern that will replicate throughout all dimensions of your daily experience. Consider how a quantum particle exists in multiple states until observed. Your morning consciousness holds this same superposition of possibilities until that first conscious thought collapses potential into specific experience. Let me tell you about the consciousness synthesis point. When you master the art of conscious awakening, you gain the ability to select exactly which reality stream you'll enter for the next 24 hours. Think about how a master navigator uses the stars to chart their course. Your first morning thought creates similar celestial alignments in your consciousness that guide your entire day's journey. The power to reshape reality lies in those precious morning moments. The choice is yours. Will you let random thoughts determine your day's direction or will you consciously choose the reality you wish to experience? Remember, you're not just waking up to another day. You're awakening to infinite potential. The way you direct your consciousness in those first moments determines which potentials manifest. Consider what I call the morning quantum field harmonics. In those first moments of consciousness, your mind operates like a sophisticated quantum scanner, reading the infinite possibilities before collapsing them into specific experiences. Let me share something profound about the dawn state crystallization. Just as crystals form along precise geometric patterns, your first morning thoughts create geometric patterns in consciousness that shape your entire day's reality. Think about how a master glass blower knows the exact moment when molten glass is perfectly workable. Your dawn consciousness has this same perfect malleability. It can be shaped with extraordinary precision. Most people are caught in what I call the morning matrix loop. They wake up automatically continuing yesterday's patterns never realizing they could completely rewrite their reality's code each dawn. Your morning consciousness is like a quantum supercomputer initializing its systems. That first deliberate thought becomes the primary algorithm that will process all subsequent experiences. Consider how a master alchemist combines elements in exact proportions. Your first morning thoughts create similar precise combinations that determine your day's alchemical transformations. Let me tell you about the consciousness gateway point. When you master those first moments of awakening, you gain access to what mystics have called the eternal dawn, a perpetual state of pure creative potential.